So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I wanted to cover today includes a patent possibly pointing towards a new DualSense Pro controller or most likely a mobile related controller, PlayStation 5 VRR release date and Sony confirms a massive year ahead for PlayStation fans. First, let me know if you're getting Uncharted the remastered collection on PlayStation 5 or not. This doesn't relate to any of the stories we're going to go over today, but the game is coming out next Friday and I'm curious how many of you plan on picking it up like myself. So comment below if you plan on picking up the Uncharted PlayStation 5 remastered collection or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, Sony confirms a massive 2022. So the year ahead for the PlayStation 5 already looked great based on confirmed and reported information. God of War Ragnarok and Horizon 2 Forbidden West are the headliner titles for the year. Alongside with that, you have reports of Sony bringing a new subscription service to provide access to their legacy titles from PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Portable, which was the shocker on that list when we first found out. Along with that, include the thing I'm most excited for, which is PlayStation VR 2, possibly set to drop later this year if everything I pointed out comes to release alongside the release of Factions 2, this will be one of the best years of gaming period, in my opinion. In terms of Sony, one title that people have still wavering uh, between 2022 and 2023 is God of War Ragnarok. I personally believe this title was going to come out this year and is going to come out this year, considering it was meant to come out last year based on the original 2021 release window. Also, add in the gameplay they've shown uh, which showcases many parts of the game, not just one section, many parts of the game. So it shows that it's really progressed a good chunk in terms of development. And in terms of what Sony confirms for 2022, they released a list of games called 22 Games for 2022. This list points towards a pretty massive year for the PlayStation 5. And one thing it also does is reconfirm God of War Ragnarok for this year. Sony's had lists last year for games coming out in 2021 and these lists these lists never included god of war ragnarok even though we had the 2021 release window but this new one for 2022 puts ragnarok on the main image for the article for the list showing confidence from sony that this game is coming out this year with that said the list also has non-first party exclusive titles like stray ghostwire tokyo forspoken little devil inside and many more little devil inside is also nice to see on this list finally it feels feels more like it's actually going to release this year than compared to last year, which we barely heard anything about the game. This year ahead is looking massive for PlayStation fans. Now diving into the second story of the video, PlayStation 5 VRR update. So VRR has been a request from fans for the PlayStation 5 for some time now, pretty much since it was revealed that it wasn't on the PlayStation 5 at launch, while the competition Xbox has had it since launch. Variable refresh rate allows for a smoother image when playing games because it allows a TV's refresh rate to match the FPS rate on the console. So if you have a TV that supports VRR, combine that with a console that also supports VRR and say a game is dishing out 50 to 60 frames per second, the TV will match its refresh rate to what the console is dishing out so you don't see any tearing. It's a smoother image in the end. Now in terms of when the PlayStation 5 will get the feature, there were two things we last talked about. One, a rumor that said it was going to be a part of the next major update for the PlayStation 5, which I laid out a potential release map for but also said if that were to happen sony should announce something this month for a beta if a beta is going to happen we should hear something about it this month Two, there was an official Sony video from CES that showcased Sony TVs coming out in April that will have VRR support, but it also confirmed a new update is coming to the PlayStation 5 at the end of this month. The weird thing about that video is that it talked about VRR support on their new TVs, but when it came to the update on the PlayStation 5, they didn't point blank say VRR would be in it. This is the focus for today's story. The latest on this is that VRR 
Terrar is coming with the update at the end of this month, according to industry insider Tidex. He recently tweeted this out, VRR update end of January. Now, again, Sony themselves have confirmed an update is coming to the PlayStation 5 at the end of this month, so we know that's a sure thing. In terms of whether or not this update will include VRR is another. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but realistically, we're at the latter half of the month but you guys let me know if you think this january update will have vrr in it or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the final story of the video the dualsense pro slash playstation portable mobile controller so Xbox has had a pro or elite controller in their case for some time now. Their controller allows for a good chunk of customization, but one thing that was a huge barrier for this controller was just the crazy price. The Xbox elite controller is expensive. Sony saw this, and instead of releasing their own pro controller, they released the back buttons, if people remember that, for the DualShock 4. They came out in early 2020 and pretty much gave the main feature that a lot of people who get pro controllers want, which is back buttons. These buttons uh, were customizable in terms of what input they'd provide, but the point was that it gave you flexibility when gaming. People mainly use back buttons for competitive online titles. Now, for this story, I've listed it under DualSense Pro and new PlayStation Portable uh, PlayStation 5 mobile because this could also be used for the potential new mobile controller we've talked about a while ago. So there is a new PlayStation patent that recently got published that discusses collapsible thumbsticks. For me, reading the patent, this clearly is for mobile gaming, but this could also be used for a high-end controller. Here's the abstract. A controller, thumbstick, or system comprising a thumbstick body, a thumbstick shaft coupled to the thumbstick body body where the thumbstick shaft is configured to retract into the thumbstick body and wherein the thumbstick body and thumbstick shaft is freely uh, rotatable together around a pivot center within the controller body. This is basically talking about a thumbstick that can be pushed in for portability reasons. It becomes more evident than what this is for when you read the description in the patent. Game controllers have been used to control a wide variety of computing devices from computers to game consoles. Portable computing devices typically have had limited options for joystick type game controller inputs. Joysticks that are comfortable to use are also not very portable because generally the stick of the joystick must be around the same size as the user's hand to be comfortably held. This means that a joystick on a portable computing device is impractical. I don't know why they talked about joysticks when I'm talking about portable devices, but let's continue. Thumbsticks represent a third option for a controller input. Unlike a joystick, the thumbstick includes a small protrusion that the user moves with their thumb instead of a stick that the user grasps. The thumbstick is more comfortable for the user than the analog nub and is smaller than a joystick, but is still not very portable. The protrusion of the thumbstick sticks up from the, uh, the surface of the controller and can easily be caught on clothing or other thin materials making thumb the thumbstick prone to breakage it is within this context that embod that embodiments of the present in invention arise so they focus on portable gaming and thumbsticks that are not portable so they want to add the ability to push them down into the case of the controller so you can just slide them in your pocket for example this to me sounds like something they'll implement in the mobile controller patent we talked about a while ago at this point they could also implement it in a higher end controller but this seems to be meant for mobile gaming in my opinion in the end you guys let me know if you'd be more into a dualsense pro controller or a playstation mobile controller let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with the big year ahead obviously based on some of the stuff that i've talked about in this video there's a big year ahead for playstation 5 and i'm personally very excited for it if you are as well destroy the comment section with the big year ahead and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one